Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video. And in this one, we're talking about the balancing update that's going to be coming very soon to Clash of Clans. I have some uh, footage in the background. We're going to talk about the effect it's going to have on clan wars, specifically the Town Hall 9, 10, 11 clan wars that we see in CWL, that kind of top tier clan wars, um, because it's going to be a very interesting effect, I think. And I don't know, the game's going to be significantly different at that top level, I think, after this balancing update. So let's talk about it, and um, hope you guys enjoy these background attacks of me messing around with the new troops. I can't show any numbers, unfortunately, but I can show some of the footage, and I got to, you know, mess around as a Town Hall 11 using the miners, the hogs, the... Uh, Pretty much all the different new troops. I think I maybe even use some P.E.K.K.A.s as well because there are the level 6 P.E.K.K.A.s coming. So anyway, I will go through real quick and just uh, summarize everything that's coming out just so we have that um, out on the table. Then I'll give some more analysis in terms of my thoughts. Um, but we have new Town Hall 11 level defenses and troops. We have the Cannon to 15, the Archer Tower also 15, Inferno Tower now level 5, and then the troops, P.E.K.K.A. level 6, Wizard level 8, Healer level 5, Miner level 5, Wallbreaker level 7. Now a few balancing adjustments. We have the Miner level 3 now moves down to Town Hall 10. So you can get uh, level 3 Miners uh, as max at Town Hall 10 now. Dragons 4 through 6, hit points increased. That's Town Halls 9 through 11. You can access those Dragons. Um, hogs 6 and 7, so Town Hall 10 and Town Hall 11 level Hogs have their hit points increased. And Miners levels 2 through 5, so pretty much all the Miners have hit points increased. Now the Inferno Tower level 4 multi-mode has more damage. So that's the Town Hall 11 Inferno Tower, or at least... Um, the first level, now we have a level 5 Inferno, but the level 4 one now does more damage. And we have the single target mode for the Inferno Tower do more damage, essentially. It matches the multi-mode from the beginning, so it does more damage on single targeted. Um, upgrade times and discounts, I'm not even going to say these. There's a few um, cool discounts and uh, time savers, but I don't think anyone cares about that too much. I mean, you care, but... Uh, not going to affect war too much. Let's go ahead and get to my analysis though. So first, just to clear the field, Town Hall 9, we're seeing very little impact. The only direct impact, I think, is that uh, the Dragons level 4 now have slightly more hit points, but that's really not going to be much of an effect, I don't think. And also, maybe a few CC uh, buffs, because you can bring the level 7 Hogs and the CC. But really, Town Hall 9 staying the same this update which I think is fine. Town Hall 9 doesn't need a whole lot of adjustments. A little bit too easy, I will say that. Um, I'd like to see a little bit of a nerf, um, and I think it would be a good uh, to do a defensive uh, buff to nerf offense because um, so much works at Town Hall 9. I think a defensive nerf, such as a new level, bring down the Archer Tower level, I think 12 it is, the Town Hall 9, I've said that for a while, or something to make Town Hall 9 a little bit harder would be would be good, at least in my opinion. But for the most part, I think it's fine, and uh, it's um, not in need of a huge change uh, for the time being. One thing that I think is going to be really interesting, though, after this update is how Town Hall 10 v 11 attacks are going to work. Because in war, the Town Hall 10s almost always go up and two-star the Town Hall 11s because the Town Hall 11s are not going to be free to go for three-star attempts most of the time. So we're seeing a lot of 10 v 11 two-stars in these wars. And I think that's not just in CWL, but pretty much in uh, all the uh, you know top or somewhat serious war clans, you have 10 v 11s happening, but they're going to be much harder with the new Archer Towers, the new Inferno Towers, the new Cannons, all getting one level higher. I think the Inferno Towers especially are going to be brutal um, because level 4 has increased damage. Now level 5 is going to be even above that, so we're going to see some very brutal defenses at Town Hall 11. It's going to be difficult as a Town Hall 10 to get the 2 star now, and uh, that might be interesting because we'll see if clans might want to roll the dice with some more 11v11 attempts if they don't want to waste too many 10v10 attacks or 10v11 attacks trying to get those Town Hall 11s 2 star um, at the same time, though, it's not terribly difficult to two-star a Town Hall 11 right now, so maybe um, some good attackers can still get the job done pretty consistently, although I think we're going to see a much more, uh, much lower success uh, rate for Town Hall 10 v. 11 attacks, probably less than 50%, um, 
I, it's hard to speculate. It depends on the clan, but it's going to be harder, and um, that might shake up the, the upper-level game a little bit. So in terms of a few other new possibilities at Town Hall 10, now turning our focus to 10v10 attacks, I'd say miners might be a possibility again. Uh, they came in, they came out of popularity, but the hit points have been increased, and level 3 miners dropped down to Town Hall 10, two uh, significant changes we don't know the numbers yet but um if they are significant changes i guess which i think they will be at least bringing down level three is going to have a big impact if not the hit point increase depending on how many hit points it is but um regardless it's going to possibly make a miners a viable strategy again at town hall 10 i've already seen a few minor attacks here and there but they might become another option and town hall 10 is looking good because um I guess dragons might be a possibility, probably not. They are getting their hit points increased. Um, there's been so many dragon buffs, but they're just too far behind uh, what they need to be, I think, to make them viable at Town Hall 10. They're just too unpredictable. So I don't think the dragons, even if it's a significant hit point increase, is going to, uh, to be an option at Town Hall 10. I think the miners might, though. And also hogs now, before the even... The update, hogs were used um, pretty heavily in Genesis in the last war for 10v10. I think hogs were already starting to emerge as a possibility. And with the uh, the hit point increase, also the level 7 heal spell, which people are still adjusting to, um, those two things, I think that's going to make hogs a very good option at Town Hall 10. And we think about what we have now, we have hogs, we have the witch bowler, um, which is uh, like all the, all the combinations of witches and bowlers and queen walks, those types of attacks that you can do, which are also working and are one of the more successful strategies. And then the Laloon, Laloon's still a good option. Um, it hasn't really been nerfed by that loon change in the last balancing update, so I think um, that's still a good option. So really we're having at least three, possibly four um, good options if the miners do turn into something. So I think Town Hall 10 is looking really good. I like how they're not you know, tilting it too far, making one strategy too easy. They're taking it slow, they're adding a little bit where needed, and um, I'm excited for hogs to be um, a good option. But remember, we will see bases change to adapt to this. We might see a few more anti-miner stuff put in bases like we saw in the past. We might see some anti-hog stuff. It's going to be weird the balance between um, the witch bowler uh, attacks and the hog attacks in terms of defending because putting the giant bombs on the outside of the base is good against killing the witches and stuff, but it's not good for hog attacks. So there's going to be a lot of balance between building a base that you want to defend all these different tra strategies, which makes the game interesting. So I'm happy about that. I think Town Hall 10 is looking good. Town Hall 11, though, is um, a bit of a more interesting case. I think there's going to be a lot less of a possibility of Town Hall 11 three stars. The reason I say this is because almost exclusively, pretty much exclusively from what I've seen, La Loon is what is getting the job done for Town Hall 11 triples. They're pretty rare. We saw Jay Off get three of them in the last CWL war. That was kind of an anomaly, though. We're not seeing them very often. But um, the update is adding level 5 Infernos. It's adding another cannon uh, level, another uh, Archer Tower level, level 15 for both of those. So it's making the defenses a, you know, a lot more powerful. That's three big defensive changes, a lot more DPS on the Town Hall 11 base now. And the only offensive tools that are being added are P.E.K.K.A. level 6. Don't think that's going to do much um, at Town Hall 11, even if they're a little bit better than the level 5 P.E.K.K.A.s. P.E.K.K.A.s aren't uh, anywhere near being a, a three-star strategy for Town Hall 11, I think. Wizard level 8, that's kind of not much of an impact. Healer, healer level 5, that might be something. We'll have to wait and see. Um, the healer level 5s, you can see right in the screen right now, they look pretty good, but um, I don't know. They're not, they haven't been used much at Town Hall 11. We've been seeing uh, Mass Laloon, we've been seeing Boulder Kill Squad, then Laloon, we haven't been seeing Queen Walks. Maybe they'll be more popular, but I think the point defense... Uh, uh, new levels, level 15 Archer Tower, level 15 Cannon, will negate the new healer levels. So I don't think that's going to be much of an impact. Minor level 5, that might be the only hope for Town Hall 11 in terms of getting a new way to 3-star. But still, it's going to be difficult with all the new defenses, the new Inferno Towers, to 3-star uh, with Miners, even if they are level 5. Uh, we'll wait and see, though. They have more hit points, apparently. Um, so 
it, it's a possibility. And then wall breaker level seven, not going to be a big impact. So at Town Hall 11, La Luna is not getting any easier is my point. So unless miners emerge as a better option, it's definitely going to be more difficult post update to three star Town Hall 11. And that makes things very interesting because now we have Town Hall 11 being difficult to two star with a Town Hall 10 and difficult to three star with a Town Hall 11. Who knows? Um, one interesting thing I want to note before I uh, wrap up this video is um, I mentioned it before, but the Inferno Tower now having uh, more damage uh, for the single targeting. Maybe we'll see some single targeted Infernos at Town Hall 10 or Town Hall 11. That would be an interesting uh, change if people start putting one or both Infernos on single. They can pop Lava Hounds a lot faster, but uh, they definitely have their drawbacks as well. So I guess we'll wait and see. Maybe that'll be something people do. Probably not, but just uh, something I thought I'd bring up. Anyway, though, that will do it for this video. Um, let me know what you think in the comments below. Maybe you have some different opinions. That's just my thoughts. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. Bisectatron out.